Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Estelle. I use Rogaine. I don't like bullet answers. A metal wire of length 8 centimeters is heated at one end. The table, the table above gives selected values of the temperature, T of X, in degrees Celsius, of the wire X centimeters from the heated end. The function T is decreasing in twice the differential. To estimate T prime of 7, show the work that leads to your answer. Indicate means of In order to discover this answer, you have to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because you need to estimate it. So you take the numbers 8 and 6 off the chart because you need to find t of 7. And then you get the answer negative 7 over 2 degrees Celsius over centimeter. Write an integral expression in terms of t of x for the average temperature of the wire. Estimate the average temperature of the wire using a trapezoidal sum with the four subintervals indicated by the data in the table. Indicate units of measure. Find the t of prime of x derivative and indicate units of measure. Explain the meaning of the integral 0 to 8 t prime of x dx in terms of the temperature of Okay, so the trapezoidal sum equation is b1 plus b2 divided by 2 times height. So for the, f for the first subinterval, we would do 100 plus 93 divided by 2 times 1. And that would equal 96.5. And then for the second one, it would be 93 plus 70 divided by 2 times 4. But that would equal 326. And then for the third one, it would be 70 plus 62 divided by 2 times 1 and it would be 66. And then finally, it would be 62 plus 55 divided by 2 times 2, which is equal to 117. And then we add all of those together, and we get 605.5 degrees Celsius. Like, oh my god, you guys, what we do here is we take the integral of 0 to 8 t prime of x and do the derivative of that. And so by that, we do t prime of 8 minus t prime of 0, which gives us 55 minus 100, which in the end gives us negative 45 degrees Celsius. That means that the wire's temperature has decreased by 45 degrees Celsius from the time 0 to 8. <coughs> I'm too sexy to figure out if the data in the table consistent with the assertion that t double prime of x is greater than 0 for every x in the integral, 0 is less than x, but x is less than 8. Explain your answer. To be honest with you guys, I'm actually glad this is the last problem because I just want to go home and do my hair and my makeup and Mr. Estelle is killing me with all this math. I feel like I'm not pretty anymore because I'm getting all the smart cells in my brain. It's just not cool. But anyway, so I graphed the data, and I figured out that the data is decreasing at a smaller rate. So the points are concave up, which means that d double, t double, uh, double prime of x is less than 0. From 0, is less than x, and x is less than 8. Are we done yet? <laughs> Okay, you guys, well, I'm glad you learned your math today. Now you can all get a hundreds on your quiz. I'm going to go home and pick an ugly sweater out for next year's Christmas sweater party. And let's hope that next year my hair grows back just like this.